Today we're taking a look at the Cooler Master VSFX Platinum Rated 1100 Watt PSU. A long title, but it's a pretty interesting product in my opinion. The V1100 is an SFX PSU that supports loads of up to 1100 watts, and it does this in an SFX form factor, not an SFXL or an ETX format. That seems pretty significant to me. I'll have up on screen just how big this PSU is in my hand. It's honestly pretty amazing how small this power supply is and how much power it's capable of delivering. I don't even think I've ever built a gaming PC that actually needed 1100 watts before. This is really designed for those crazy SFX builds where you're putting in an i9 or a Ryzen 9 paired with something like a 4090, maybe you're even water cooling. Thankfully this power supply is titanium rated, so it's relatively efficient versus your typical gold rated power supply. The V1100 does have ATX 3.0 support and it's including a 90 degree 12VH power cable. Nice touch in my opinion. This power supply is fully modular, but interestingly enough, the connectors on the PSU side seem to extend outside of the PSU body. I don't think I've seen this before, but I'm guessing they did this to enhance the overall compatibility by making the PSU housing just a tiny bit shorter. I don't know how much it'll help, but it could in really tight builds. This power supply is coming in at 100 mil by 125 mil by 63 and a half mil at a net weight of 4.2 pounds. Now in my build here, I don't actually have an SFX setup to install this power supply in, but luckily the power supply actually comes with an ATX to SFX mounting bracket. I like that they included this and it actually seems to be a pretty decent thickness and quality. The PSU housing seems solid to me. I think it looks pretty good too even if you don't have a PSU shroud. As this power supply is capable of 1100 watts being delivered to your PC, you're definitely not gonna wanna reuse just any old power cable you have laying around. Notice in the packaging how they included this huge, beefy power cable. Well, if you're gonna draw about 1100 watts, you're probably gonna wanna use the included cable. Those older ones are probably not rated for 1100 watts. Cooler Master says that between the capacitor choices, the integrated transformer, the rectifier, and the full bridge LLC design, that this is pretty much the key for how they were able to produce such an efficient SFX PSU that can actually run loads of up to 1100 watts without pretty much melting down in your case. They also cite the difference in the transformer they use, as well as the flat wire design, for helping reduce airflow restriction and overall heat. The PSU has a 92mm fan wedge built in, which isn't too bad in my opinion. If you have this PSU loaded down at about 50%, it's relatively quiet in my opinion. At 50% load, you're looking at 550 watts worth of power output at an efficiency of about 92% on 110 power and closer to 94% on 220 volt. As for the noise output, at 50%, the PSU is rated for about 26 to 27 dBA, which is pretty quiet in my opinion, especially considering the incredibly small size of this PSU. Larger PSUs will always have an easier time dissipating heat because, well, they're larger. They have more surface area and bigger fans. If you had to take this PSU up to 100% output though, you're still looking at roughly 90% efficiency with about 45 dBA worth of noise. That noise rating might sound like a lot for a power supply, pun intended, but if you're actually drawing 1100 watts for a gaming PC, your system probably has a ton of other fans that are super loud and completely drowning out this fan. That's a heck of a lot of power in my opinion, especially for gaming focused rigs. Like I said, I've never even come close to drawing that much power before. I like that the operating range is from 0 to 50C. Typically, higher quality PSUs will actually go up to that 50C rating, versus the common 35 or 40C rating. I also like that this PSU is one single rail. You're not going to run into any issues with load balancing the power cable strands based on your setup. At 1100 watts, this is a tiny, tiny SFX PSU that could probably honestly power my Threadripper rig with a couple of GPUs inside of it for Hashcat or folding at home. That's kinda nuts, and I love it. The PSU comes with a nice pouch. Not really necessary, but for some reason, I do kind of appreciate these. It's coming with that monster power cable and a pretty good selection of cabling for your build. You're getting a 300mm main 24-pin power cable, 
450 millimeter EPS 4 plus 4 cable, a 450 mil EPS 8 pin. Across two SATA strands, you'll have up to eight total SATA power connections. You'll have one legacy peripheral cable at 400 millimeters, and you'll have the 12 VH power cable that's included. All in all, I really like this power supply. I definitely see some pretty interesting use cases even beyond just a really OP, beefy SFX gaming build. I haven't done too many home lab videos lately, so if you want to see this thing in a beefy Threadripper rig, let me know. As for the pricing, premium product like this is going to command a bit of a premium price. At the time of making this video, the power supply looks like it's retailing for about $280 on Amazon. It's a little pricey versus a standard ATX PSU, but then again, this is a high quality and extremely small option. So I think if you actually have a use case for this kind of power supply, it's actually really worth the money. Oh, and I forgot to mention, this power supply comes with a 10 year warranty. That definitely adds a little bit of value into the purchase price and overall value of the power supply in my opinion. If you found this one interesting, hit that thumbs up button and then get subscribed to the channel. Until next time, stay juiced up.